unrelated at first. So let's just get to it. Uh, I want to do a quick tribute, guys. Uh, if y'all know me as uh, personally, uh, you might have saw my post on Facebook uh, a couple of days ago. Um, I, actually, it was yesterday uh, on Tuesday, the 26th, uh, a very sad day in my life. Um, it's the death of my grandfather, Papa. Uh, Papa actually died before I met Adam. So, Adam, you never really got a chance to to hear me talk about him live uh, as he was alive. But I know over our 20 something years of being friends, you, you've heard me mention him a bunch of times. Sure. Um, but if there was a man besides my father who I say um, is the the reason I am who I am, it, it's Gordon Darnell. And uh, I am trying to find pictures of him here that I have. Well, for some reason, StreamYard won't let me do it. But anyway, um, <clears throat> this was like the quintessential granddad for me. Whenever me and my dad got into big fights, I'd always drive to Papa's house. We'd just sit there and talk. Um, when uh, when I was a freshman at Bama, about two weeks before he died, quick story to kind of tell you how how he is. Um, he, uh, I, I didn't make the the marching unit at, at first at Bama because um, I'd never marched in at high school. My my high school didn't have a football team. We didn't have a marching band. Uh, I, uh, I, I got, somehow I got, I, I, I got noticed by the director, got put in as an alternate. So my very first game to march at, uh, was at Legion field. And, and I thought that was just hot crap. Um, I called Papa, I said, Hey Papa, I, 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 I saw, I know what heaven's going to feel like tonight. Cause I, I, I walked on this field that, that Papa, brought me up to be a you know a legend in in my mind right he he in his deep gravelly voice and i could do it now because i thought <laughs> you know, he always talked like this he very much he reminded me of the bear uh you know a, a lot of big football fans teared up when they saw the old bear video from the 90s and 2000s remember sure. where i ain't never been nothing but a winner oh, yeah. i cry because not because of alabama i cry because that remember reminds me of papa how he talked um but uh, I, I called and said, Papa, I know what heaven feels like. He said, did you see St. Peter? I said, no, I saw St. Bear. And, and, you know, we just laughed. And uh, a sad story for me. And, and this is how it, it, his life ended. And this tells you how big of a cheerleader Papa was for me. We had always just, you know, I, I, I jokingly, I never, I never played a lot of football because I didn't get a chance to, right? Uh, and so jokingly, I, I told Papa, I said, Papa, I'm going to find a way to get on that field in Alabama. I'm going to find a way to get on Bryant Denny Stadium field. And, and, you know, he said, well, no matter what, I will watch your very first game at, on the, the, the grass at Bryant Denny Stadium. I find I, I've, my, my first game at Bryant Denny Stadium was against Arkansas, September 25th, September 20. Yeah, September 25th. Yeah. I marched. I, I, I walked through the field. I wanted to call Papa afterwards just because that was what I'd, I'd do. You know, we, we call and talk about the game. Something held me back. Something said, David, don't do it. Um, come to find out he died r right probably about 10 hours after the game. But I found out from my mom later, um, he couldn't talk. He was struggling to breathe that day. But he wrote down, turn the game on. I, I, I made a promise. Papa, in his last, last days, was my biggest cheerleader. He, he, he knew what it meant to me yeah. and knew what it meant to him to to see that um the hardest part about being at that funeral was a losing papa but b everybody i talked to said david 
the last time I talked to Gordon, he was saying how proud he was of you and how much happiness you brought him being down there. If I could go back and do college all over again, I probably wouldn't go down to Bama my first year, my freshman year, just because it going from a small school to a big school was a, a big struggle for me. And you know that, but I, I, I believe in God's perfect plan. Um, God knew I couldn't be in Huntsville to watch the man I love, the man I I, I idol, I, I'll call it the man I idolize, uh, the man who played college quarterback for UT Chattanooga, um, I, to watch him dwindle into nothing. Um, but uh, the memories I have of him now are are so strong and so amazing just because I didn't have to sit here and watch him dwindle away. I get those happy memories, and, and I, I thank God that, that I did screw around at Alabama and, and, <laughs> and, 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 and didn't, didn't go to Calhoun my freshman year. So, yeah, yeah there you go. There's, there's my tribute to Papa, Gordon Darnell. You learn a lot from that, a lot of us. Yeah. How to be with – just people and in, in celebrating their success, whether we're there to see it physically or a part of it or have the same things in our lives. That's good. Yeah. I, 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 I want, I, 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 I want somehow somebody to remember me the way I remember Papa. Yeah. Just because he was a huge, a huge shining light in my life. Yeah. You got the opportunity. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing that scares me um, is uh, so if I'll post this picture in, in the, the Facebook listener group. Okay. Uh, but uh, it's a picture of Papa holding me. I made it my profile picture yesterday. Uh, it's a picture of Papa holding me on the back porch. I have blonde hair at the time. Yep. Um, Papa was only three years older than I am currently. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you wow. look at the picture, he looks old. <laughs> so, yeah, man. You know, yeah. people looked older back then. That's just it, they it's really so did. It's so funny, yeah. They really did. All right, do we do we read comments or do we just? Yeah, we can do a couple. Okay, Mike Watts, Dave, that's heartfelt, and as a hospice chaplain, I hear so many stories like that, uh, like this. As it's tough watching your loved ones pass away, and there's nothing you could do but be there for them. God bless you, and this is a wonderful tribute. Thank you, Mike. That's uh. That's awesome here. And and thank you for the work you do as a hospice chaplain. That that's tough. Uh let's lighten the mood for a minute. I have a buddy of mine who is I at least was a hospice chaplain here in Decatur, Alabama, uh, a town right over. And and you have to know this guy's name is Brad. Brad was a uh was my old youth pastor. So tell you how, how I think I've told you this story, haven't yeah. I? Yeah. Okay. Uh he uh and he's got this weird quirky sense of humor um he uh emma says hello hello hi emma oh, and hi to my mom and dad too they come in oh, hey everybody I mean, those. yeah okay. um so brad's sense of humor is just weird and quirky he had forgotten to turn his phone on silent when he was visiting a family one day and his ringtone was the undertaker <laughs> wrestling entrance thing and and it just Dum 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 dum. <laughs> Some people, right? <laughs> oh man, this is why we can't have nice things, people. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs>